In this video, we will be learning how to cut and sew this adorable, cute and lovely short maxi dress from start to finish. Of a truth, this dress brings out the baby girl in every lady and trust me when I tell you that this dress deserves to be in every lady's closet. Hi, my name is Uluwata Singh. In case you are coming across my channel for the first time and you're welcome to all my returning subscribers, you're also welcome. Thank you so much for always stopping by my videos. Thanks for always stopping by my channel. Basically, here are the measurements required to measure on any lady at all to achieve a dress like this. If this video sounds like what you are interested in, come along with me. Here is the Ankara we are going to be working with and will also be needing tool for this particular project. So the first thing we will do is to measure this person's bust. We will be cutting out the yoke first, which is the tool. So a bust divided by four, then I added one and a half inch allowance this person's bust is actually 38 so i measured nine and a half and then i added one and a half inch allowance then the length of the yoke the length of the yoke is actually seven i added one inch allowance we are bringing out yoke for the front first as you can tell the front yoke is shorter than the back yoke after bringing out this quantity the next thing to do is to measure our shoulder divided by two then an arm hole divided by two and then you proceed to drawing the arm hole cuff. For the neckline, I used neck width of six. On fold of two now, I used three and then I used neck depth of three. I used neck depth of three for front and three for back as well because there is no zip and there is no button at the back of this dress. So I just made the two necklines the same length. After this, I proceeded to placing it on the tool I'll be using to cut out the yoke for the back. Because the back yoke is longer, I made it 12 inches long. I just proceeded to marking out 12 inches. I added one inch as well. Then I traced it out. I cut out the neckline. You know, I said it's the same neckline. I just proceeded to cutting out the neckline, the arm hole, and then I cuffed it towards that side just like I did in the video and I cut it out. It is that simple. That is it for the yoke. The next thing to do is to mark the place where I will be placing the Ankara on the tool, like where I will be sewing down the straps on the tool. So I used one and a half inch interval. Starting from that point, I measured one and a half inch, one and a half inch till I get to the whole length of the yoke and then I just notched it so that when I get to my sewing machine, it's going to be easy. I'm just going to sew it across the tool from one notch to the other. I did the same thing to the front yoke and basically that's it for the yoke. The next thing to do is to work on the Ankara. For the Ankara now, you know the length of the yoke for the front is already seven and the full length of this dress is 36. So what I need left is just 29 inches for the front. Then the length of the yoke at the back is 12 and the whole length is 36. So the length I need from the Ankara is just 24. I hope you guys get what I'm trying to see. Although I added two inches each to the front and the back for folding it down. And that is it for the length of the Ankara for the breadth now. The circumference of this person's chest is 36, so I measured times 4 of her chest circumference. So that's to say I used 4 yards for the, the, the breadth of this Ankara. The length is 24 and 29, depending on the length of the yoke you are working with. I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. And the breadth, because I want it very, very full, I did times 4 of where the Ankara is entering, which is like times four of our chest circumference. So basically that's it. The next thing to do is to start sewing. So moving to our sewing machine, we will start by attaching the Ankara straps on the, on the yoke. You get, we are just going to sew down the Ankara straps on the yoke. So firstly, on the right side of the yoke, the right side of the Ankara, we facing the right side of the yoke and then I'll proceed to sewing it down first before flipping it over like rolling the Ankara over and then sewing it on top of the tool from one notch to the other I'll do this for the whole front and then I'll repeat the same process to the whole back 
for the yolk. I hope I'm making sense. So when I was done doing all of this, this is what the back panel looks like and then this is what the front panel looks like for the yolk. And I proceeded to gathering the Ankara part as well. So the next thing to do is to notch the middle of your gathered Ankara and then notch the middle of your, your yolk. Just pin the notch with two notches on each other and then you sew from one side of the yoke to the other. Sew the Ankara down on one side of the yoke to, to the other. Do this for the front panel, repeat the same thing to the back panel. After this, the next thing to do is to face the right side of the two panels together and then you stitch across your shoulder line. Just secure your shoulder line down with straight stitch. When you are done doing this, the next thing to do is to pipe the neckline with the Ankara and then pipe the armhole as well with the Ankara because this dress is not going to have sleeve. So I piped the neckline with the Ankara, I piped the armhole. After this, the next thing to do is to start shaping. So right side has to face right side now. And then on the, on the armhole, you measure your actual armhole. And then from the point where your actual armhole stops, you just sew a straight stitch from that point down to the whole length of the dress. This is like we sewing our dress now. I used two inches. I sew with two inches inward. I hope you guys get. After this, you repeat the same process to the other side of the dress and then I proceeded to folding the down of my dress. I didn't put pockets in this dress, but if you want pocket on yours, you can actually do that. Then after all being said and done, look at this dress on the mannequin. It's so cute and adorable. Thank you so much for watching this video from beginning till this point. If at this point you are still with me and you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you find it interesting or helpful. And do not hesitate to share my video and miss your soulmate. In case you have any question, kindly ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.